In the air to right. And he did it again. Welcome back to the Love These Two Broadcasts. And we have another list for you. Top 10 leadoff hitters 2.0. The previous list was about 10 months ago, which means we've added probably uh, 10, 11 players since that list. And a lot of things have changed. A lot of ideas, a lot of just ways people play. Gameplay has also kind of affected it. The traditional leadoff hitter, as we know, is high contact, high speed. So there's, but there's different ways of doing it now based off of how this game works right? and just the idea. Right? We've played the game in the ninth inning, right? So then it goes to extras. So the idea is, can we get this game over with as quick as possible? How do you want to play it? This is my new list. You guys let me know if you agree, disagree. Who is your best leadoff hitter? Just let me know. Let's get into it. Number 10. And it's Wilson. Wilson not really traditional when it comes to speed, but it's high contact, high power. Leading off makes it difficult. Also, the ability to take away a pitch, that fastball, right? When you, when you have a fastball and you have a high contact, high power batter, the idea that you could take away that one pitch and know when it's coming really makes him a tough out right there at that leadoff spot. Again, I don't use him as a leadoff, but I've seen a lot of the top players in the world use Wilson as a leadoff hitter. So I'm like, hey, based off of that, excellent. All right, so let's go moving on. Number nine, as we've seen King, same concept as Wilson. High contact, high power. His speed is a little bit average, more than Wilson, of course. So the idea of having an average speed hitter. Now, the philosophy behind this, besides being able to hit a hit a ball in the power hitter is the fact that he is a bad ball hitter. So that 50% chance of hitting a ball outside the zone can end a game with one pitch and his speed's not really going to slow him down. So that's why King is my number nine leadoff hitter. Okay, moving along to number eight as we go into... We have Rhea. She was not even in the game, I believe, according to my last list. There she goes. She fits the criteria. High contact. A little bit above average in the speed. And that power, 181, is a little deceptive. But I personally, I'm not good with her. I can't hit with that slow motion pitch. I'm not, and timing's messed up. But I have seen so many players use her at the top of the lineup. The idea is that 181 power... Against the algorithm is a lot better than 181 because she hits bombs. A lot of them off me, a solid lefty. She is the number eight leadoff hitter in the game for me. All right, number seven. We're staying, we're staying with the power bat. High contact, high power. I've seen a lot of power. I've seen a lot of him over the years. He was in the top list as well last time. 203 contact, 215 power, speed at average 175, and of course the ability to high chance, causing your opponent to make an error, that fiery line drive, that's going to get the guy on base or again even walk it off as a home run. Okay, so the Gibson is still as a solid leadoff option in my opinion. All right, next we have... Next we have... More of a traditional, and as this guy has gotten more 13s, I've seen him at the top of the list. Again, I'll show you guys his stats. As we see here, Alexander, contact 200, power 159, speed 219, throwing 168, and then fielding 159. And again, that... All right, so as you guys saw, his stats, high speed, high contact... And again, that ability where he's going to tag up and his speed increases ridic ridiculously, he's going to be a traditional leadoff hitter. He is number six on the list. Okay, number five. Let's move. 
five. He is my leadoff hitter. And spoiler alert, he was my number one leadoff hitter on the list last time, just based off a of bias. But again, when he's batting first, his speed increases to about average. Power, 203, and his contact is terrible. So not really a traditional leadoff hitter. But the idea is that I'm still batting 483. And the fact that he's deceptive, people aren't typically as scared of him. But I have over a 1,000 home runs with him. So he's still on my list, just more because of my own personal belief and biases. But Jack, the 203 power is just effective, okay? Number four wasn't on the list last time, but probably one of the most Deadly, underrated players in the game. Kaya, contact 190, power 190, speed 190. But you have a 1 in 3 chance of getting one of those increased above 200. And that speed of hers, right? Deadly. That power, that contact. She, she is number 4 leadoff batter in the game. Defense, not great. She is an offensive weapon, to say the least. All right, we have made the top 3. Here we go again. Still, for me, the toughest out in the game. I mean, usually when I play against bots or real players, your traditional 215 contact, 219 speed. That little dribbler up the middle gets me about every time. And then, of course, that gapper. She's getting on base. You probably bat 700 against me. All right? That's why she's still on this list. Still here. Still getting it done. All right. Number two. two, you see her a lot more in this game now, is Gina. A little bit less on the contact, because she does have better fielding overall than, say, Annie. But that speed, 219, she is deadly in the infield, but again, on, at the plate, again, just like Annie, getting those little droopers, little bloopers, little bleeders, whatever you want to say. She is a deadly leadoff hitter, and of course, now we're going to number one, and this guy and this guy is a mess on the base paths. And again, going back to that traditional leadoff hitter, Neville is the guy. Contact not as high. Power average. But definitely helps. 219 speed. Again, not great in the outfield when throwing and fielding are there. But that slide, that slide is going to get him safe. And so many opportunities going either to second, third, even home. So his skill allows him to get that little extra ability. Neville's number one in my list. Okay, so who's your top leadoff hitter? Has yours changed from my last list to this list? Let me know what you think. And thank you all for watching another Lefties 2 broadcast. See you next time.